Hey Deckers, Gears 5 got an update specifically for the Steam Deck, meaning you can now launch it directly with no compatibility and get into the campaign. However, there is a catch. Unfortunately, although this fixed the campaign section, the multiplayer section is still broken. So if you try to go into any of the multiplayer modes after the connecting to online services screen, you will get an error about unable to connect to the services. However, thanks to Steam Deck Life on Twitter, be sure to give them a follow and a big thank you. We've managed to get this up and running. So it turns out that all you need to do is change to a version of Proton 7. We used 706 as that was the only one that seemed to be installed for us at the time. However, Steam Deck Life is also reporting that 7.17 is also working. So if you don't have one of the Proton 7s installed, then you can follow our guide in the description below to install Proton versions. But you should be able to pick up Proton 7 just by searching on your Steam Deck. Otherwise, when the GE Proton 7 should work fine. You'll know this works because when you connect to the online services, rather than any errors, you will go straight through. However, there are a few issues with how I got this up and running initially. So the rest of this video, apart from a bit of gameplay, is going to be helping you troubleshoot some of the issues that you might encounter getting this up and running, especially if you were using one of the Proton GE versions previously to get into the campaign mode. If you were using that mode, you would likely be getting the easy entity error when you hit the multiplayer servers. But if you remove that Proton GE version, and tried to start the game, it won't even load. You will get an error saying that it can't even find the anti-cheat settings file. This is because part of the fix for GE Proton, it renames the easy anti-cheat folder. So one of the quickest ways to deal with this is you can just go and delete your Proton files or do a verify from the installed file section and wait for that to complete and be done. Now, Deleting the Proton files is by far the quickest as it only takes a couple of seconds and then it will restart the install process and should get you up and running. However, I did also get a crash loop after doing this the first time. So you may have to do that a couple of times or verify the files when you're switching that change. Alternatively, you can switch to desktop mode and go to the installation folder of where your Gears 5 install is and then go into gear game, binaries, Steam, and then rename the Easy Anti Cheat hyphen backup folder back to just Easy Anti Cheat. Once you do that, you can head back to game mode, pick a Proton 7 version, and both campaign and multiplayer will work again. If you do get stuck in the boot loop, just delete the Proton version or run the TE Proton version again first, and then back backwards through this again. Hopefully that'll get you into Gears 5 so that the majority of you who wanted to play Horde can play it on the go. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.